Okay, so we've got Cato versus Mikaels, Mikaelis, either one. Uh, Mikaelis as Yoshi, uh, Rosalina and Luma with Cato. Oh, we'll see kind of the entire game. Just Cato will probably try to be taking those eggs from Yoshi. Um, absorbing them, it kind of just gets it out of the way. Won't be doing much damage. I'm pretty sure Michaelis is ranked in the top 10 for Georgia. And I've noticed that he only comes to Gwinnett Brawl when, like, most of the other top players in the state are busy at other tournaments. Okay, that'll explain why I haven't seen him before. Yeah. I'm not sure if that's a coincidence or if he's just trying to scoop up easy money. It could be. It, it may just be that he doesn't have enough money to make it to Smash Con. <laughs> yeah. So. I mean, the reason why Scat didn't go is because uh, he plays on remote and nunchuck, and Smash Con, I think, bans wireless controllers. Okay. For good reason, we might add. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> too many people not actually disconnecting their controller. But Gwinnett Brawl isn't serious enough for that to really matter, so we don't care. Right. Though we still run into the issues. <laughs> yeah. All right, so Luma down and Rosalina down a stock. Um, Gale's visibly ahead. Just kind of keeping Rosalina at bay. Um, There's not much she can do. Kale's keeping on the pressure with Yoshi. Um, that, ooh, that up smash almost takes Yoshi down a stock, but he makes it back. Um, very hard to make it back uh, from above Rosalina, especially as Yoshi, as his really only option is the down air. Um, and Rosalina can beat that out with her up smash. Kale's trying to get that up smash read. Goes off the bridge. He takes it the forward air. That was a pretty pretty dominant match for Mikhail's. Um, I noticed Cattle isn't really trying to absorb any of the eggs Yoshi's throwing. He's just kind of either taking them or trying to beat them out with Luma. Um, and I don't know if that's really the best option for him since he keeps taking the hits. Um, but Mikhail's really keeping on the pressure with those eggs. Kale's nose, uh, or Cat Owl knows it's going to be hard for him to actually get back, so he's just trying to wait for that stage transformation. Uh, but he does make it back and gets beaten for it. Uh, Mikhail's takes the first stock off of Cat Owl. And Mikhail's just looking really dominant in this match.
Pokesy Pokesy And the up air takes it. Or er, up smash. I've been saying that all day. Up airs, up smashes. If I say up air is probably an up smash. So those of you that are at home and not here playing with us, uh, this is a mostly bi-weekly tournament, uh, Duluth at Wasteland Gaming. Uh, come down, we play Super Smash Bros. for Wii U, Ultra Street Fighter 4, Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3, Guilty Gear Exerd, and Mortal Kombat X. Uh, so go d come down, play friendlies, uh, it's a $5 venue fee and $5 for each tournament you enter. Uh, so it's definitely worth making it here. I just... I gotta point out real quick that we gotta wait for a second because literally every other match that can be run right now is being run off stream. So we just gotta wait for one of those to end before we can put another one on. Okay. Wanna thank everyone again for tuning in to Gwinnett Brawl. We do run these tournaments usually bi-weekly here at the Wasteland Gaming. We run the five games seen on screen on the list in front of you. Our other stream, which runs the other four games, is twitch.tv slash gbdojo. So definitely check that out if you're interested in the other games. We post all of our stream archives to YouTube within a couple of days after each tournament. So if you miss any of the action, you can always catch up. If you're in the area, definitely follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Uh, all the information about our events are posted there, and so if you want to come out, if you want to learn what we play, if you want to know the rules, if you want to get in touch with who else is coming out here, uh, definitely hit us up. 